video is about telling why VMware is better opting from USB than hard drive. Um, people who think that hard disk is a better option, I think so they are more concerned that USB drives go bad quite frequently and also we don't have RAID functionality that we have with um, hard disk. <coughs> However, what I think that the architecture of VMware itself is so that uh, it is more suitable for um, to, to boot it from USB. Um, the way um, VMware works is after when you boot up VMware um, over here and take example of ESXi, it saves all the system image on memory. So now there's no reliance on boot device anymore once the host server is up. And system image is nothing but it's just made up of various you know, tar files or archive files, which is called state tar disk. Now, just of curiosity, before I was um, making this video, I was going to various blogs, and <coughs> I also saved some of the uh, tar disk. And of curiosity, I was just checking like what is all these tar files made of, and I was able to go and I was able to open all these files on Notepad. So I was just checking like what all this files are. Um, I connected through WinSCP and that's how I um, got these files. <coughs> and I found that some of the most important files were like, um, you know, the ESX configuration file or your internet service daemon uh, configuration file, the INE td.conf or esx.conf now when, if there's any changes that are being made in um, in the configuration like if I happen to change my esxi host password or if I change some network configuration so then uh, wh what will happen the now the data needs to be written on the USB drive so the way it works is like I was following one of the blog this one how often does ESXi write to boot disk and it tells that there are total four scenarios so the number one is when you when you're shutting down so when it's shutting down then it initiates an uh, script which um, which is invoked from over here and then it takes uh, it uh, takes a backup into the USB drive. Then another one is at a fixed rate of once an hour. And also this once an hour is only if you have made any changes. If you have not made any change in an hour, then there is no point of taking backup. So it won't take a backup in that case. Also, when you happen to make any changes in post post the file, like you know if you happen to change the password of your ESXi host or if you happen to make some changes in let's say uh, network configuration uh, then definitely immediately then that uh, it will execute uh, the script and the, the backup will take place um, also the very good thing to know over here is that it can take maximum six backup in an hour so what it means is let's say I happen to make six changes in a short span of 15 minutes if I happen to make seven change uh, before 45 minutes then it won't make um, that change unless and until the whole 45 minutes is complete so this is basically to throttle like number of backups that are happening Fourth scenario is um, in case of VMware HA, uh, if there is any change in cluster membership, then also this will happen. You know, um, they don't want that USB drive um, always writing being happening over there because we know that USB drives can go bad. So uh, if you happen to go down in the conclusion, you can see that it mentions that. <coughs> many times in worst case that it would be 10 minutes that uh, your you know the backup is happening or 
many times it will be like even for several hours or several days you won't be um, making any changes and uh, in that case there won't be any changes that will be reflecting on that will be copying on the USB drive mm. but the architecture of VMware itself is so that I think so that USB is more suitable then the other thing about the RAID thing we can take host profile backups so even in this case your <coughs> ESXi, uh, the USB drive goes bad, then still you can recover it. 